Hello and welcome to another very, very important update on UA corporate tax. Now, you know, the UA corporate tax provision had one of the provision where a small business was uh, supposed to be getting a relief from the UA corporate tax. You know, what exactly is a small business? What is the revenue threshold? And things like that were not something which was specified in the original law. However, now a ministerial decision has been issued in which relief from UA corporate tax is proposed to be provided to certain small businesses. In the next few slides, what we are going to see is what exactly is a small business, when the relief is available, in order to claim the relief, what are the conditions which are applicable? And if you are claiming the relief, then some of the other tax advantages, like, you know, the claim for uh, carry forward of losses, etc., which might be available, whether that is going to be available to you or not. Another important point that one needs to consider in the UAE small business relief is that if a person tries to artificially separate a business which is not a small business, but tries to break them up into different businesses, then this relief may not be available to you. So let's look at, you know, uh, how this is going to fare out. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. And uh, if you need to reach out to see whether you are eligible for a small business relief, you can always do that. There's a WhatsApp number given on the bottom of this particular slide, as well as a subsequent slide and reach out to us. Now let's look at what exactly are the UAE provision relating to small business relief. So first thing is, what is the threshold in order to qualify as a small business? Now to qualify as a small business, the threshold for the revenue is AED 3 million for each of the tax period. So if your business is something which has a revenue of less than 3 million, then in that case, you will qualify as a small business. But this threshold has to be both for the previous year and the relevant year. So if you are trying to claim this benefit in 2025, then in the year before, which is 2024, there also your revenue should be less than 3 million dirhams. What is important to note here is that this exemption is applicable from the tax period which commences on or after June 1, 2023. And there is no wonder why this has been provided because the UA corporate tax law itself is applicable from June 1, 2023. This exemption, however, is only available up to tax periods which end on or before December 31, 2026. So effectively what that means is if your financial year commences on 1st of January, then you will be getting this exemption for 2024, 2025 and 2026. Three years period is what you will get the exemption for. The next point is if the revenue exceeds in any previous year or the relevant year beyond this threshold. So let's say if in 2025 your revenue is 3.5 million dirhams, the relief will not be applicable. What is also important is they've mentioned that if in any previous or relevant year. What that also means is that if let's say in 2025 your revenue exceeded the threshold, then you cannot claim the benefit in 2026, even if your revenue in 2026 is less than 3 million dirhams. Now, how do you calculate whether your revenue is 3 million above 3 million or less than 3 million, that has to be done as per the accounting standards prescribed in the UAE. Now, what is important to note is that this exemption of small business relief is not available to a person who is in a qualifying free zone. So what that means is that if a qualifying free zone person is there, they cannot claim a small business relief. Although on the qualifying free zone person, if they get qualifying free, uh, qualifying income, there is no taxation there. Second, a constituent company of a multinational enterprise is also not available to eligible to claim this exemption, even if their revenue is below 3 million dirhams. What this means is a constituent entity is more re relevant in the case of country by country regulations. And you need to see those regulations which are there under the UA corporate tax law to if you qualify as a constituent company. Coming back to some of the other provisions, if you claim a small business relief, then no tax losses is allowed. So you let's say, for example, in 2024, you are for the small business relief. In 2025, you have losses. And in 2026, you have, again, revenue less than 3 million. So you qualify for this. The losses for this year cannot be carried forward. 
the net interest expenditure cannot be carried forward. Now, this is more relevant in cases where you know um, you have certain interest expenditure which increases beyond 30% of EBITDA. The law provides that you can claim a deduction for interest up to 30%. Any excess is allowed to be carried forward. That is not going to be something which will be allowed in respect of a business which claims a small business relief. If you artificially separate your business for small business relief, then this exemption will not be available. Why? Because it will be considered as a corporate tax advantage on which general anti-avoidance regulations will be applicable. In those cases, you'll need to find out whether you know you have a valid commercial reason for separation or it is just being done to obtain a tax advantage. If you're doing it just for the purpose of obtaining a tax advantage, I'm afraid the exemption will not be available because you're just artificially separating your business However, the last point is that this decision is going to be applicable within 15 days of the publication of the decision. I hope you would have understood this point very, very clearly. If there's any doubt that you have, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact details are something which are given here. You can also subscribe to our UAE Corporate Tax course and see how the intricacies have been worked around or the explanations is available. The link for the UAE Corporate Tax course is also here right at the bottom. Thank you for contacting us and uh, thank you for watching this to the end of the video. We look forward to staying connected with you.